Hi, and thank you for being here today. This is Maria Mandarino, licensed acupuncturist, certified spiritual director, certified Enneagram practitioner, and also certified Bach flower practitioner. Today, we're going to be starting um, a new series uh, called Patterns of Truth, and it's on the Enneagram and flower essences. Um, this is a topic that I explore to some degree in my upcoming course. So if you're interested in this, please look out for that. Um, and uh, before we start, I would like to ask you, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to the channel. Remember to click the little bell so you'll be notified of upcoming episodes. Um, please like the, um, the episode and feel free to comment and share. Um, all this helps, um, helps me reach people who need this information um, and can benefit from the information. So I'd appreciate you doing that for me. Um, so some backstory as to how I came to do the things that I do and why I do them the way I do them. Um, not to say that this is the entire reason, but this is certainly one of them. Um, quite some years ago, I was going to a chiropractor who knew nothing of Chinese medicine. And um, I had toe pain in my small toe, my little toe. Um, and he adjusted my foot and my toe. And I was also, and I wasn't making the connection between the two things, but I was having gallbladder related pain. So he adjusted my toe and I mentioned that that pain was on the gallbladder channel and that I was also having associated gallbladder pain. And, and so he looked at me and said, well, I couldn't have known that. So, and that's pretty much how, and then, and then he said something else that was also interesting and, and pertinent to what we're going to talk about today, but he said, truth is truth. Um, and that was his point. Like he couldn't have known that, but truth is truth. Like, even though you don't know something, you can still know it to have validity. So that's kind of how I came to all of this. Um, there are patterns that I look for and when I, I kind of double and triple check and see if these patterns still keep checking out. Um, I know that they have a deeper resonance and there is some level of truth and, and greater wisdom beyond um, beyond our, our physical world, right? So, um, so that's kind of how I look at a lot of this. If there's overlap and a pattern between the Enneagram, between flower remedies, between astrology, between the five elements, which is also a system that I use, um, as an acupuncturist, we start to see these overlaps and, and you can't deny that there are connections between them. So, so just to kind of give you an idea of where I'm coming from with this information. So that said, these kinds of truths are never going to be A plus B equals C. Okay. Um, there's always going to be some flex room between them. Um, they're never, um, they're never going to be a one size fits all and it's always the same answer. So I want you to leave space around uh, some of what I'm going to be speaking to today. So, um, and one thing I also want to say is these, um, when we start working with these systems, having a deeper level of knowledge and understanding is really vital um, to being able to work the system or systems that are involved. Um, inability to have done some level of work, some, some level of internal work, uh, to be able to sit with something, be with it, breathe with it. If you're a meditator, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, and then be able to step back and discern uh, where the truth is in this system, because there's no guidebook to this stuff. Uh, we discover it as we go. And, and again, we have to be able to flex with it as we go too. And that's where having some level of training is really important um, in this. So, um, so again, it's not a one size fits all approach to, um, to working with the spirit as, as I look at this. Um, so I wanna give you a little bit of history about the flower essences, um, about Dr. Bach, whose system I use. It's not the only system that I use, um, but uh, it's the primary one that I do use. Dr. Edward Bach was a surgeon and a homeopathic doctor living in England, uh, born in, in, and lived in England uh, during the early 1900s. He passed away in 1936. Um, 
And what he noticed in his medical practice was he could treat patients, um, they could have surgeries, and often they would come back and their issues were not resolved, even though clinically he addressed them in, in surgery, right? But the, the issues were still there. And what he proposed was that there was an underlying reason for this and that there was something unresolved in the emotional level, the mental, emotional, spiritual um, level. Um, so Dr. Bach's system has 38 essences in it. Um, 37 of those come from flowers or plants, and one comes from a stream. Um, and he held that each of these essences held properties that would help to harmonize um, different emotional states in, in people. And if you're familiar with the Rescue Remedies um, flower um, formula, basically flower essence formula, it's, um, it's a formula made up of several remedies in one. It's known as the crisis formula. We use it for trauma and intense kind of um, stressors that come about. It's that, that one actually is a generic formula for, for stress and, and um, sudden onset acute kind of things that, that anyone can use. Um, so what we're talking about here is vibrational medicine. Um, it's looking at what's going on in, in the spirit and the mental, emotional uh, level of a human being or, or animals. Actually, we use these with animals, too. Um, and figuring out what in this flower essence matches, uh, what in this plant behavior, essentially, matches um, the part of the spirit that fell out of balance and where can we raise that vibration through the vibrational energy of, of this plant medicine. Um, so this journey with, with flower remedies and Dr. Bach's work, um, has been a 20 year journey, uh, 20 plus years for me, actually. And I came to the system. I came to learn about the system, uh, when I was in school learning to be a massage therapist back in New York. And I will wholeheartedly admit that I was a full fledged skeptic, um, I came to holistic medicine from a traditional medical background. I worked in research medicine. So, so here I was with this teacher speaking about um, these plant pieces that would be put in water and energized out in the sun and then preserved and then used in these formulas. And that was supposed to somehow change somebody's emotional state. It seemed a little far out to me from where my, from where my background was. But then she started to talk about her cat and she got my attention immediately because her cat um, was extremely shy and withdrawn. And when anyone ever came to the house, the cat would run under the bed and wouldn't come out for several days. So uh, she began to give her cat one particular remedy called Mimulus, which we use for fear of known things. So things that we can you know, look at and know like a spider, somebody has a fear of spiders. Uh, it's something that we know. Um, so we give mimulus in cases of somebody who's afraid of something that can be named, described, point, pointed at that type of thing. So her cat was afraid of people. So, um, so she gave her cat mimulus in, in her drinking water and the cat gradually started to become socialized, um, over a period of time. Uh, but the cat would become a little adventurous, kind of come out to the edge of the room, not go further than that and then maybe go a little bit further. And then, and, and as it went on and I decided, well, there must be something to this. So I scheduled an appointment with her to see if this stuff really worked. And, um, and I sat down on her cat couch and this cat comes from nowhere and jumps on the couch and into my lap. And I looked at her and I said, is this that cat and and it was um, the cat's just completely socialized loves people and has been transformed um, by the remedies so so I was won over um, because you can't give a cat a placebo right cats don't know that, that they're being given anything right so um, so that impressed me and then I began my training uh, a little over 20 years ago uh, in the box system and then um, over many years I did all the levels and, and became a practitioner. So, 
So it has been a labor of love for me and, and deep work that I do um, with people individually, um, just doing the Bach flower remedies, doing personalized formulas for them and working with them and getting to the deeper issues of what's going on and what has gone on through their lives that, that is affecting stress points today. Um, I also use it in my acupuncture practice with, with patients. So, um, so it can be used in many ways. And what I began to realize as I was training in the Enneagram, they were talking about patterns of behavior in Enneagram types. Um, I'm going to talk about some of that going forward, but we've certainly had some, some episodes about the types up to this point. So you can go back and look at some of these, but there are patterns of behavior in, in the Enneagram types. So I started to hear familiar echoes as my Enneagram teachers were talking about patterns of behavior in the nine types that sounded an awful lot like certain patterns of behavior in the 38 remedies. So we don't have an exact fit between 38 and nine, right? So we can't go, that's where I'm saying we can't go that A plus B is always going to be C. And there's a lot of overlap between the remedies as there is, you know, with the Enneagram and with other systems as, as well. But um, it's come to be part of my work, bringing, bringing these two systems together for sure. Um, so this is part of my work with, um, with, as I said, my patients in my acupuncture practice. It's part of my work as a spiritual director with my clients. And, um, and it's completely independent of, of both with people that just want to work, you know, with, with, with flower remedies and not do Enneagram work and not do acupuncture and not do spiritual direction. So, um, so it's kind of a beautiful thing for me because it helps me meet people wherever they are. So, um, so I love that part of it. Um, and then this is part of what I have um, come to, excuse me, come to teach um, as well. So, um, so I also want to, to mention, and I'll have this in the show notes as well. So in addition to, as I've discussed in previous episodes, I um, do Enneagram typing. Uh, you can schedule that with me, which is totally apart from um, totally apart from the Bach remedies. You can schedule Enneagram typing with me, spiritual direction work with me, which is a deeper dive, more of a commitment. Um, we meet on a regular basis about once a month in spiritual direction. And we explore where you're meeting your spirituality each and every day. Um, how you can deepen that spirituality. Sometimes we do that with the Enneagram. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we bring in the flowers. Sometimes we don't. Really depends. Um, and that's driven by you and what you want to do. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, you can also just schedule a Bach flower session with me. And I have discovery calls that are free, 15-minute discovery call. If you just kind of want to chat with me a little bit, get a sense of our personalities. If we each think that we'll work together uh, well, we can meet for 15 minutes, chat about that. I also have 60 minute sessions, 90 minute sessions. A lot of times when people start out with me, they need that 90 minutes to really start um, unraveling um, the, um, the stressors that have been going on for them. So, um, and with those private consultations with the Bach flowers, uh, we also, um, there's a, you get your own personalized formula that I will mail to you. So it comes with a formula. So you can find all that on my website, mariamandarino.com. Again, I'll have that in the show notes for you. Um, what else do I have here for you? I think that pretty much wraps it up for today. Um, oh, I didn't mention pricing. So some people, I, let me mention that quickly. Uh, some people have mentioned to me that they want to work with me in spiritual direction and there's an affordability issue, which I, I completely understand. So working with the flower remedies uh, gives people some some easier options, I think. So uh, so again, the um, discovery call to just see if we're, we're a good fit is only 15 minutes and that's free. We're not doing any work there though. Um, 90 minute session is $125 and that comes with your formula which is going to last you somewhere between three and four weeks. It's usually about three, but what starts to happen is that formula is starting to complete the layer that it's meant to complete. Um, people forget to take it. <laughs> so sometimes it can stretch to a four week formula. And that's usually when the formula needs to be changed. And then we meet again. 
Um, the 60 minute sessions are uh, $75 for, uh, for the hour. And that, again, that includes your formula. So um, it's kind of an economical uh, way to go about doing some of the deeper uh, spiritual work that uh, people might want to do. Um, and it's usually not as ongoing. It can be, it certainly can be depending on what you're taking on and, and how, how far you want to take it. Um, but if somebody just wants to get through a tough period of time, the flower remedies can really be a nice way to do that. So, and then you can also supplement with rescue remedy and I kind of guide people on how to do that. So just wanted to share a little bit about that with you, give you some insight into where we'll be going for the next few weeks. And I also want to point out that, again, I mentioned this, it's not a one size fits all. So some of these remedies are actually going to overlap into other types. I'm not going to get into all of that um, and get into a little more of that in the course but it really is as rich and complex as we want to take it so that part of it is really up to to me as the practitioner so I don't want you to think that that's what I'm teaching but what I'm doing here um, with the channel is just showing you that um, that nature uh, wisdom um, what is on this planet and beyond this planet um, is here to communicate with us and, and benefit us. And, um, and that's been my life's work is um, finding, uh, finding ways to pull all this together, cull it for people, braid it together and in, in whatever way the person before me needs to receive it. So, so again, I'm not teaching a system here. I'm just pointing out patterns of truth. Okay. So thank you for being here. I will catch you at the next one and look forward to seeing you then. And again, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think um, of the episodes prior to this and of where we're going with this series. If you have any ideas, would love to hear them and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.